We know that the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Now, I wanted to be a little bit more original than to use a phrase that you probably heard a thousand times. But what's a better phrase than that? We can't do better. A shocking admission from former President Donald Trump, on the other hand. And also, speaking of drag queens, can, can we stop with the grooming stuff? Can you stop talking about that? Drag queens are not at a school to groom your kids. Stop it. And even if they were, most of them kids gonna get shot at school. It ain't no problem. Don't groan, pass legislation. <laughs> like they booze gonna bother me. I'm like, I'm like Mitch McConnell. I ain't got no soul. Comedians like Roy Wood Jr. point out the hypocrisy for all of us to see. Now, America has shown its shadow and we are stuck with Mallorcas for six more weeks. Thanks to the insipid idiots in Congress, in the GOP. Good hmm. luck, guys. Way to go. Way to show the American people you can accomplish something. But I hope you're happy you expelled me. Mwah. Bye. On the topic of George Santos. The overlooked purpose of tonight's dinner is to award scholarships to students who have shown great achievements in journalism. That's right. <laughs> These brave young souls are the future of the industry. And I'd like to stop right now and, con and congratulate tonight's top scholarship recipient, Arizona State senior George Santos. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, George couldn't be here tonight. He's auditioning for RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> That's my bad. Wood hilariously roasts him. We've done things like ban critical race theory in our K through 12 schools. What you do not do is you do not distort American history to try to advance your current ideological agenda. In an instance of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis performing the epic act of the pot calling the kettle black. If there's one person that could use a scandal, it's Ron DeSantis. That boy is just running around just passing every controversial law he can think of, thinking that's going to activate voters. That's not how you activate voters in this country, Ron. Everybody know how you do politics. This is America. We don't pass laws. You make a promise to voters, and then you don't do it. That's what the great leaders in this room understand. You know how to make things not happen. Wood saying this to the faces of legislators is not just ballsy. It is simultaneously undoubtedly true. Bravo. White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax. After Tucker Carlson's ouster from Fox News. Tonight, we are all unified under one thing, and that's scandal. <laughs> Scandals. Scandals have been devouring careers this year. The untouchable Tucker Carlson is out of a job. Yeah, okay. Some people celebrate it. But to Tucker's staff, I want you to know that I know what you're feeling. I work at The Daily Show, so I too have been blindsided by the sudden departure of the host of a fake news program. <laughs> Tucker got caught up. Got caught up like that dude from Vanderpump Rules. Tucker Carlson is the first host to get fired from Fox News for something that's only partially about how he treats women. That's progress. He shattered the ceiling. Wood Jr. went in as well. George Lemon had been with the network for nearly two decades and hosted his own primetime show for eight years. He was on the air on Monday morning before tweeting the news of his firing, saying he was blindsided. The CNN This Morning anchor signing off his show Monday. Just hours later tweeting, I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN, adding, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. I am stunned. CNN then with a tweet of its own, refuting Lemon's account, calling it inaccurate, writing, he was offered an opportunity to meet with management, but instead released a statement on Twitter. Don Lemon would even catch a stray. Speaking of Don Lemon is out of a job. <laughs> Don 
Don Lemon. My dog, Don Lemon. Don Lemon released a statement saying he got fired from CNN. Then CNN released a statement saying that they offered Don a meeting. They had to part ways because Don Lemon can't even accurately report a story about Don Lemon. <laughs> I still think that Don deserved more CNN. That ain't how you fire somebody. It's messed up. How funny is it that you work in the news then watch on the news that you got fired from the news? Hi, Jeffrey. Hello, Allison. It's been a while. It has been a while, indeed. As did this dude. Don Lemon is now the most obnoxious guy in the history of CNN. That's not fair. Even Jeffrey Tubin looking at Don Lemon like, ooh, he rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> but I ultimately understand why CNN did what they did. I get it, it's about morals. There should be no place on air for someone who speaks with wild disregard that doesn't consider the blowback to their coworkers or their company. Thankfully, CNN has taken steps in the right direction. They got rid of Don Lemon, and they've now given a show to Charles Barkley. <laughs> to Charles Barkley's co-host, Gail King, we say good luck. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a good show. The whole show is gonna be Charles Barkley saying something crazy, then Gail King looking into the camera, Charles. <laughs> Charles. He also predicted this to a T. First of all, I'm just gonna say this. If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Charles. I know, Gail. Charles. Gail. Gail. Gail you, I, you really can't say that because a, you don't mean that. You, oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell you something. And then you will be arrested for assault. And then what? I'm gonna bail myself what? out and go celebrate. <laughs> If I don't no, encourage season. him. Don't encourage him. And we have breaking news. Former President Trump will stand trial in the hush money case against him starting April 15th. Trump's team had tried to further delay that trial, arguing they needed more time to review newly released evidence. But the judge rejected that argument. Meanwhile, an appeals court has ruled that former President Trump can post a smaller bond than the four hundred sixty four million originally imposed in his New York civil fraud trial. Back on this guy. Can't follow Trump scandals. There's too many Trump scandals to keep up with. Keeping up with Trump scandals is like watching Star Wars movies. You got to watch the third one to understand the first one. Then the, you, gotta, you can't miss the second one because it's got Easter eggs for the fifth one. Donald Trump is the only politician whose scandals got spinoffs on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> but the Trump arrest, it made everybody question what they believe. You thought you leaned one way politically, then Trump got locked up. Everybody started waffling put Republicans between a rock and a hard place. Donald Trump got locked up and for years, all Republicans, all y'all been saying for years, we gotta get tough on crime. Trump got arrested, we meant black crime. Wood Jr. exposes the hypocrisy amongst many in D.C. Well, we've got another eyebrow-raising revelation tonight about Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas and his financial dealings with a billionaire buddy. Last week, ProPublica revealed that virtually every year for decades, Thomas has been treated to luxury vacations by billionaire conservative donor Harlan Crow, including trips on his private jet and super yacht worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, which, crucially, Thomas never disclosed in his uh, financial disclosures. Now we've learned there are other financial dealings between the two men that Thomas also didn't disclose. In 2014, Crow bought several properties in this quiet residential neighborhood in Savannah, Georgia, that had belonged to Clarence Thomas and his relatives, including a house where Thomas's mother was still living and two vacant house lots. You thought Roy Wood Jr. wouldn't address this dude either? Get real. Harlan Crow is flying Clarence Thomas all over the world on unreported trips like an Instagram model, taking Clarence to the Maldives and the beaches and all. Pay for his mama's house, this billionaire. Pay for Clarence Thomas' mama's house. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give it up to billionaires. Billionaires, boy, y'all, y'all are relentless. Y'all, y'all always come up with something new to buy. Like just when you think of everything you could buy on Earth, a billionaire will come up with a new thing. Y'all buy space rockets. You bought Twitter. This man bought a Supreme Court justice. Do you understand how rich you have to be to buy a Supreme, a black one on top of that? There's only two in stock. And Harlan Crow owns half the inventory. We can all see Clarence Thomas 
but he belongs to billionaire Harlan Crow. And that's what an NFT is. All right, y'all, before we get into it, if there are any stories we missed, if there are any that you would like to submit, get at me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, DMs are open. And please, if you can, become a channel member to help sustain us and or go to tyt.com slash join. This is something that I wanted to revisit because even though it's 10 months old at this point, all of this is still happening. Whether it is the Trump scandals, Tucker Carlson launching his show on X, Don Lemon having the interview with Elon Musk and then getting his contract canceled by by Twitter, no one calls it X, by Twitter, because it was all stemming from the fallout with CNN, the pleas that the Biden administration is making while France is protesting the retirement age and that hypocrisy in and of itself. Jeffrey Tubin still being welcomed with open arms and Ron DeSantis, who is now no longer a presidential uh, candidate, but rather continuing to make those in his state suffer. All of this sadly remains prevalent. It shouldn't be, but as Tupac says, that's the way it is.